Well, this is my very first video, and uh, I want to talk a little about Dale Hunter Jr. and Junior Motorsports, and uh, all about racing. And let me just say about back in January, me and the wife got to meet Dale Hunter Jr. and sit down and have lunch with him. It's Dale Hunter Jr. and his crew, and got to meet Tony Year Jr. and Tony Year Senior. And Kelly Earnhardt, that was quite the experience, a dream come true for me. Well, as a, as a race fan, I sit down with Dale at the table with him, and I got to talk to him for a few minutes, and, and, and talk to him a lot about a lot of different things. One of the things that I, that I talked about with him was being, just having fun. You know, drive that race car, just have fun, the wins will come. The fans are with him. But at the same time, I was talking to him, and I could tell that the bubble he was, the pressure, the bubble that he lived in, was so tiny. And I could feel the stress in the room just by being around him. Well, that's where we come in. Me, you as the fans of that, and of Dale Hart Jr., We've got to become master motivators. Master motivator, every chance we get to meet him, we got to let him know. We got to tell him. We got to let him know that no matter what he does, or what he does, or win, lose, crash, wreck, we're there. We're going to be, we're with him in victory lane, or we're anywhere in the hollow. Because we're with him to the end. He does care about the fans. You can tell by, you know, just a lot of different things. I talked to his mother about it. I talked to his sister about it. He's so worried about what the fans think. At the same time, as fans, we got to let him know we don't care about all the crap. We don't care about all the. We want to see him become who he is, an Earnhardt. We want to see him drive like that young 19, 20 year old kid drove with the blonde hair. Bleached, whatever you want to call it, drinking beer, wild, sleep till 11, kick your shoes off, bump and rub, whoever, and get back to that aggression that once made him who he was, and get him back master motivated, and let him know if he wrecks somebody, who gives a damn. We're going to ride the wave until that wave is up, until it, until it hits the shore. Well, this is the very first video for me, so I'm struggling to really get these words all out. And I hope somebody can. We're going to start this week with a blog on here and, and maybe get some new comments and uh, start planning for the future of maybe trying to become a, become a uh, Dale Hart blog. And hope Dale and Hart Jr. can see this blog because I do have I have an email address of some contacts on the inside the Junior Motorsports. But I'm going to send these blogs too. And the more comments we get, I'm going to send them to them. I'm going to let him know what me, you, and what other people think. Because that's what he needs right now. He needs to forget about the bubble that he lives in because he is the, one of the most honest family oriented passionate guys probably around in the sport but you just don't get to see it because the bubble so 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 much around him I mean the pressure on his shoulders is, is unbelievable but once you get to talk to him you get to see him more relaxed and you get to understand him you know you know he's been around for a while and then yeah that he, he carries a, a major burden on him and I think that that affects him a lot. Also, the fans and the sponsors and everything like that demanding his attention all the time is really starting to wear on him. But I think he, as we're junior fans, we're going to have to not demand him run better. We got to we got to we got to motivate him. We got to get him to understand that him having fun is we're going to have fun. We're going to sit out there in the pits. We're going to sit out there in, in, in the RV park, drink our beer, party with the best of them, Talladega, throw beads, and everything else. And every racetrack across the country because 
you see who fills the stands, Daryl Hart Jr. fans. So, he don't have to impress us. If he's partying and having fun and showing it on TV and making good comments or whatever, we're going to see that and consider that he's starting to enjoy it again. So, we got to really get him motivated. We got to show our passion. We got to we got to be the better fans, and better fans is going to have to be not just buying the products or going to the races. Every chance we get, to, if we ever get chances to meet him, you tell him what you think, straightforward. No, no huggy, kissy, lovey, dovey. Tell him, look, get out there, and drive that car, drive it like your daddy told you to drive. Bump somebody out of the way. Quit being a nice guy. And you'll start having fun. So will we as fans. Because we're going to sit back and enjoy every bit of it. Thank you.